What's up, guys? It is Peckerwood here. Your most favorite is Redneck. Um, so it's part two of two. Um, well, part two of two of this of this actual story. I'm gonna start this little series. Seems to be fun. Oh, Redneck stories. Well, I'll just tell some most redneck shit that I've seen, done, felt with, or heard of. So if you haven't seen part one to this, you'll probably want to check that one out first, because it probably won't make no damn sense. For y'all to be listening to this one and don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, start real quick. Um, very shortly, shortly. Um, I'll have all my upgraded equipment, which would just be awesome. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to be like putting out the better content. I got the um microphone. I got the editing software. So it'll be like. Mm, yeah. Anyways. So. Okay, where did I leave that story off? Alright, so. Yeah, when I was 12, I went to the village. Punched a deer. So it was about. About five years later. I got my hunting license. Yeah, yeah it was about five years. Oh, let me think. Yeah, it was about 18, 17, 18. And, oh, just so you guys know, the game is Red Dead Redemption. Most country-ass game I could find. <laughs> so anyway, um, I had got my hunting license, and a buddy of mine was like a, I don't know, what, a tracker, I guess. Uh, and find, just do a find a field mouse in a field bigger than, yeah, he's good, put it that way. We'll just leave it at that. So, so anyway, we're, we're hooking up together. Now I've got, I got my safety course, I got my license, I got my tags. I'm excited, I'm, my heart's pumping, we're getting ready to go out. I'm in my gear, I'm looking, looking, feeling decent. And, uh, we get, we get out there and I'm just like, alright, whatever, this is cool. So he's like, I will help you find yourself a deer, right? And I'm like, cool. Help me find a deer. And he's like, alright, so this is what you do. Da, 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 da. And he starts explaining, you gotta go this way. And you can't, you gotta do this. And I was like, alright, whatever, we can do this, this, and this, and this. So we get out there. No. I'm like, I'm freaked out, right? You know, I don't know if you guys have ever gone hunting, but it's like, it's a, uh, let me think about it. It's like an adrenaline rush, but a fear that sets in at the same time. And, uh, it was like, I don't know. It was, it was a lot of fun, though. I was like, I was waiting for it. And I was ready. And I'm like, all right, so let's do this. So we get out there. So now I'm set, right? I'm in my spot. He's, I got a little walk walkie-talkie. He's off somewhere doing something. Oh, fail. See how... Man. That one part there was confusing because, like, watch. When you walk up to it, watch. You're supposed to press X or A or whatever. A, I think it is. But it looked like I jumped on it, but I didn't because I jumped to the side. It was stupid. But anyway. So... I get out there and what am I doing? I'm not even like paying attention. Um <laughs> if you're gonna feel dumb right now. Oh, so we get out there and he says, Listen, you go over here and he goes, You mount up here, whatever. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like right now I'm not really even looking for deer, I'm just kinda excited that I'm sitting here with a rifle in my hand. So he starts calling me, he goes, there's, calls me on the radio, on his little walkie-talkie or whatever. He says, you got a, a deer about 120 yards, 160 yards or so, he said, to your right. So now my heart's pounding. Boom, boom, boom. I can feel it coming out my chest, right? So I look through the scope, and there he is. Nice little, I don't know, it was about, I think probably five horns, five spikes out of it. So now I'm like, oh, you know, it sets in. It's, my heart's a pumping. I'm like, oh, man. So, 
Lo and behold, that deer comes a coming and it's slowly creeping. And I pull back on my chamber, make sure my, my bullet's in. I'm loaded. Right? Safety off. I'm feeling. Oh, I'm just feeling like it's. You know what I mean? I'm feeling like it's setting in. I'm feeling good. And then. I take the shot. Now this is where it all gets like, what just happened? Anyway, <laughs> it's like, what did just happen? So I took the shop, but I never scoped my gun into my scope. It was a brand new scope, brand new gun. I never did any of that, right? I didn't know I was supposed to, really. So I'm like, okay, boom, take that shot. My heart's pounding out of my chest right now, right? I'm thinking, yes, got my first deer, but I didn't even hit him. Bullet apparently went off to the right. Might have grazed him, maybe. Because it spooked him, but the bullet landed behind him. So this is what happened. The bullet hits behind him. Dirt flies up. Deer sees it. Freaks out. Start run, running towards me. Now, if you've watched part one, I believe that deer eat people. Right? Okay? This isn't a joke. Um, if, if you have seen part one, you'll know that I'm not even joking. That I was... When I was younger, they told me that deer ate people. I had a conversation with a baby deer once that didn't work out so well. <clears throat> so, now my heart set in. And this thing starts running towards me. I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I took off. Like a bat out of hell, too. I wasn't even playing. I took off and ran fast. <laughs> it was... I can't even explain it. I was running. So, I, I'm i running from this deer. Now, at this point, the deer saw me as soon as I took off. And it actually, I think, I believe it turned around. But I didn't know it turned around. I'm petrified right now, right? So, I'm running. I trip. And, like, a noob idiot. Oh! You see the... Hold on, let me tell you something. This bull would not... Look at... This bull would not leave me alone for nothing, for no reason. I didn't go near it. Look, watch. I'll walk away. Watch. The guy's like, oh, let me walk by you to go around. Look at the motherfucker. I didn't even do nothing to it, asshole. Probably heard about me thinking I was like, oh, because I was trying to tell my story while I was playing this. Look at, oh, Toro, motherfucker. Anyway, so I pull off a shot, right, like a noob. Should have taken my hand off the gun for one. And I should have threw the safety on as soon as I took off running. But no, because I was scared and wasn't thinking like an idiot. That's what happened. So I let off a shot. Bam, dropped the gun. Again, the deer's still not even behind me. Okay. Not at all. And, um. I'm like, no, 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 no. Leave me alone, deer. <laughs> Freaking right out. So I pull out my, my sidearm. Had a pistol on me. I pull out my sidearm and I start shooting. I shot twice, I think it was, before I made it back to the truck. And, uh. Bam, bam, right? My buddy's freaking out. He don't know what the hell's going on. So he starts walking towards me. Now I made it to the truck. But as I made it to the truck, we parked next to a. Uh. Like a stump or whatever? And face first, tripped past the stump, face first, landed into the truck. Right, so now my nose is broke. Broken in a mofo. So now I'm like, oh no. So I'm bleeding everywhere. I jump in the back of the truck, right? And I'm like, oh, this deer's gonna find me. I can smell my blood. So my buddy makes it back over. He's like, oh my God. He thought I shot myself at first. He says, oh my God, are you okay? What's going on? He goes, did you shoot yourself? Are you hurt? Yada, yada, yada. I said, I think my nose is broke. I said, that deer is chasing me. He goes, what do you mean the deer is chasing you? <laughs> he said, are you kidding me? So I explained the story about how my stepfather told me that his friend went out hunting and a deer ate him because he shot him and the deer didn't die, right? Excuse me, guys, it's early in the morning. So he says, you what? 
I said, I ain't even playing. The deer ate, tried to eat me. I said, he starts laughing, rolls to the ground laughing. So he didn't say nothing. We went to the hospital. I got my nose set. And the nurse is laughing because he's telling the nurse. And nobody still at this point has told me that deer don't eat people, right? So we're on the way back to my house. And he's like, you do know deer don't eat people. I'm like, what do you mean deer don't eat people? I said, my, my stepfather told me they do. And then I said, obviously that this thing was chasing me. Yes, it does, right? He goes, no, it don't. They don't. He goes, I wouldn't lie to you. He said, they eat grass. Why do you think you, we put out apples and, and things like that? So I'm like, are you kidding me? So like when I was a kid, I punched this poor baby deer for nothing. And then as an adult, I'm shooting a deer for nothing. And I'm like, are you... F I was so mad, so embarrassed. <coughs> but now, guys, lo and behold, I am a very good hunter today. Um, it took a while. My first kill was just like, uh, but I don't hunt. Um, a lot of people like you, I, I know you guys, if you're an animal fan, you're like, oh, that's cruel. No, if I shoot something, I use it entirely between the meat, the skin, the fur, whatever. It's all used. I don't shoot females or babies. Um, I don't even like to shoot spike corn anymore because, um, I mean, when you first start hunting, it's like, all right, that's your deer, you know what I mean? Because it's hard when you first start, when you don't really don't know what you're doing, it's hard to really find a deer, you know, a good a good horn deer, the three, four horn spikes or whatever. It's hard to find unless you've done it for a while. Like last year I had a nine point, which is pretty big. So I don't even shoot spike horn anymore. Um, the, only, the only thing I do do sometimes is that Sometimes I, I have a, like a, what do you call it, um, like my friends will, who, who, they'll, they'll buy tags or whatever, and I don't f use their tags, I'll finish their tags up for them, which, you know, you're only supposed to have so many tags, but, 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 um, you ain't gonna waste it either, you know, but again, I use all of it, right from the fur down to the meat. I don't shoot anything out of context. But, uh, you know, I, I've gone on some pretty good trips, too, which are pretty fun. But, yes, <laughs> I do know now deer don't eat people like a retard. I do know now that, you know, you, hunting is, isn't as bad. And I feel so bad about that little baby deer now that I punched in the face. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot of fun. Um... And that's just, the, I mean, if you guys are enjoying this series, that's just the beginning of the, the shit I've seen. Because if you've watched part one, then you know that uh, I'm not actually from the country. I, was, I wasn't born and raised in the country. I am now in the country, obviously. I was about 13 or so. So, I mean, even today, some of the stuff I see is still kind of new. But it's all good. And I got a lot more stories than that. Um... But you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, Peck, I think it's right on my page. I think you can see it right on the page. If not, I'll make sure it's there. Um, uploaded some Modern Warfare 3 video. I haven't played that in a while. Um, let me think. Oh, I'm going to start up another little series called What's On My Mind. And whatever's on my mind, I'm just going to talk about. You know, and hopefully that hits pretty big. But I don't, I think it's going to upset some people, but it's. I don't really care because it's just what's on my mind. You know, like today I saw that dude that ate the other dude's face off. Remember that in Florida? I saw that they found only weed in the system or whatever. So anyway, that's on my mind. That might be something I might talk about for 15 minutes. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll bring you whatever videos you want to see. Any, anything you want to, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below so I know whether you guys are enjoying this or not. And yeah, just subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, the bigger we get, the bigger stuff we can give back and do giveaways and things like that. So, uh, oh, and expect the upgrade soon. Later, y'all.